Alrighty, so I went to start installing the electronics and slowly realized that we're gonna need some extra components to 3D print it first. <laughs> the first being some sort of stand for the quadcopter. I made a mistake of just thinking that I would just mount the lithium battery on the bottom of the quadcopter and that would just kind of be the stand. The problem with that is LiPo batteries are explosive if punctured. So <laughs> protection of this thing might be a little important. I'm gonna end up printing some sort of stand that will help hold the quadcopter up as well as sort of protect the LiPo battery. Um, with that in mind too, I also noticed that I'm gonna need some protection as well for the brain of our quadcopter, and this is the Naze 32 chip that we're gonna be using. I don't know if I wanna just mount it right in the open like that. I think it would be a better decision if I 3D print some sort of case for this as well, since it is a fragile piece. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and print some stand for this, and a case for the Naze 32. the pieces have finished. We've got our two stand pieces, which looks like we can fit our LiPo battery right in the middle here, as well as act as a stand to keep the battery off the ground, which in my opinion is very cool. So with that, let's go ahead and get these parts cleaned up and mount them on. Alrighty, so I got the pieces cleaned up and ready to go, got all the supports cleaned off, of them, cleaned off of them and everything. So now it's time to install them. So let's get started. Boom, done, there we are. Now it's officially looking more like a quadcopter. Oh yes, look at that. Beautiful, and it has a nice little square so that we can actually fit our battery in just like this, right there, so that it's nice and protected when the drone is flying around. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. This is incredible. I, this design is brilliant. I love this design. It's a beautiful modification done to the mini wheel quadcopter frame. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mount the NACE 32 case. So to do that, let's get some bolts here, some screws. Oh. Now, this situation happens every once in a while. Uh, usually when 3D printing, you design a hole the size of the bolt, and then it comes out a little smaller than it should. Uh, so you always, when you design holes, just make them a little bigger than the size bolt that you want it to fit. And if that happens, it's really simple to fix. Just take a drill bit, just run it through the hole, like this. Just like that, and then your screw should fit beautifully in there, just like that. That's all you have to do, very simple. Alrighty, the NACE 32 case is on. Hopefully, these are the last 3D prints that we need to do for this quadcopter. Here's a closer up view of the quadcopter. If you look at it here, um, you've got the NACE 32 case that we've installed onto the top here, as well as the battery holder and the stand piece all in one right on the bottom there. I think it's very, uh, very light. It doesn't seem that heavy. Good because it needs to be light. And it looks hefty too. It looks like it can handle some chucks arounds and crashes and stuff. I love the Naze 32 case. Um, out of all the, all the prints that I've done, uh, I've never seen a design that works so well. Like, this Naze 32 case, I was just like dry fitting everything and it fits together really well, surprisingly. Hopefully next week, we'll be getting to the electronics because I'm psyched about this. I don't know about you, but I am psyched about this quadcopter. Thanks for watching, and if you have something you want to see printed, definitely request it. Ah, because it's always exciting to see what kind of designs are out there. And we'll see you next week.